In this video, we're going to have a look at some more basic functions of FileMaker. Now, in the last video, we started by making a list or a table that's going to have the names of the people in our library. At this moment, we've only got two names in our library, but we're not going to really concern ourselves with watching me type hundreds of names in here. What we are going to do is make a brand new table that's going to have all our books in it, because of course we're a library, so we need books. We're going to go to the Edit Layout, go to Manage and Database. We're going to go to the Tables tab over here. We've already got our Names table, so I'm going to make a new table called Books. We're going to go to the Fields tab, and we've got the Books table over here with no fields, obviously. Now we're going to have the book number. Now that's that barcode that libraries put in books. So we're going to change that to number and press create. We're going to have the book name. Make sure that's a text field. Create that. And the author. And we're going to create that as well. Again, we're not going to have too many details because, of course, we can write the genre of the book and so on and so on and what date it was published. In this case, what I do want to do, though, is create a book cover field. And in this case, I'm going to make it a container. We'll press OK to that. And although nothing looks like it's changed, if we look at the layouts over here, we can see that we have a new one called Books. And of course, this layout, where we've got the book names, now looks like the old table that we had at the start of the last video, which is that very boring black. Now, I'm not going to waste your time watching me change all the colors. I'll do that later. What we've got here, if we exit layout, we now have, if you like, a separate list that has nothing to do with our names. So as I enter more and more names, it will not affect anything to do with books. So in this case, what I can do is click on New Record, and we'll just put in one book. And we'll just do another number, which is 1111 over here. We're going to call it Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, like that. The author of that is, of course, J.K. Rowling. And now the book cover, I need to go and find that somewhere like the internet. So let's go and do that. Now what I've just done is gone to the internet and very quickly copied an image of Harry Potter 1. I'm going to just click inside that book cover and using my keyboard shortcut, I'm going to paste in the cover. Now you can see that looks good, but not great because it's the wrong shape. Let's go to Edit Layout. And let's make that book cover a little bit more like a book cover, which would be about that dimension there. And I'm actually going to put it on the side over there so that it doesn't just create one very long list. So I'm just going to move that there and press on Exit Layout. And you can see that looks a lot better. So what we're doing now is building two lists. One is just going to be the names of our library members. And the other list is going to be all the books that are in the library. So in our next video, we're going to make a third table. And I hope you'll realize how this is going to make sense. With a names table and a books table, why do we need a third table? So in the next video, we're going to explain what we're going to do with this database.